guys, it's Janet Wicklin with RemarkablyCreated.com. In today's One Take Wonder video, I want to talk to you about some of the beautiful new intricate framelits and thinlets that are coming from Stampin' Up! on January 5th, and the wonderful new brush tool that we have to get all of those little pieces out. I want to give you some fun little tips for using it, as well as some fun little tips for containing the mess as you take all of those fun little pieces out. So just for a second though, let's look at just a few of those fun framelits that are really intricate. So you've got our happy birthday and our hip hip hooray. Both of these can be used just to create fun elements for a scrapbook page, project life, or a card. But they're also designed to create really fun pop-ups, and we'll be doing a video on that. The Rose Wonder is my, oh my gosh, I'm in love with this. Absolutely stunning with a coordinating stamp set. And then we have our beautiful framelit that you see here, this heart framelit. So just real intricate and detailed. So let's take a look at some of the tips for using this. First, when you're working with the really intricate ones, my recommended sandwich that works great is to work with your magnetic platform and your precision plate. You want to be careful because the magnetic um, magnets are so strong, it's going to really hold this and it could be easy to pinch your fingers. So once you get it set up, just go ahead and leave it set up instead of taking it on and off constantly. Um, do all of the cutting you need to do first. And then you're going to go ahead and lay your paper down. You'll lay your framelit on top. And then you'll go ahead and lay your acrylic plate on. Now you want to be careful because the precision plate is a little bit longer than your platform. And so you want to make sure that you're not way up here at the edge, that you are indeed on that platform, so that when you go to cut, you're going to get even pressure the whole way across it. So I like to run it back and forth, um, up and back at least twice, so that I get nice good pressure a couple times over that and just really kind of get a deep cut. So we can set that aside. And then what you're going to do is you're going to grab your little foam piece. It does come with the brush. They do come together. And you're just going to take and you're just going to start to roll over all those little holes that you see. And you just want to be, and you can kind of see them start to pop out a little bit. This one also has a coordinating stamp set and creates little stamped images for the flowers. So, and there's my beautiful chocolate heart. I have a few more pieces that I can still cut out of it and punch out of it. So I would just keep rolling to get all of those pieces out of it until it looks just like this. Okay. And again, just being real gentle as I roll. It's a little harder to see on designer series paper if you've gotten all of the pieces. When you're working with our glimmer paper, because of the white backside, you're really able to see what you missed. And if you're cutting our glimmer paper, if you put it glimmer side down and cut through the white surface, you'll get a much cleaner release from it. So now look at this mess that I've made here. Let me give you a couple of tips for containing that that I have found. First and easiest one, if um, you have your Big Shot in your craft room, is just to simply take our the foam mat and put it inside one of our clear wood mount stamp cases. You can always just store your brush right there beside it. And then as you start to roll, those pieces will fall into the case as opposed to all over your work surface. And then you can just simply take this and empty it into a trash can that's close by for working on. If you're a demonstrator watching this video and you do large events, whether it's in your studio or um, at a cus customer's place or, you know, you're renting a place, then working with one of these little foil cooking pans works really, really well for containing that. And again, as you roll, everything's just going into this little place and you can keep your hostess's house clean you can keep your own studio clean and of course it's always nice to be a good guest when you're renting a place and not leave all those little snips and stuff all over the floor so a foil pan is great when you're doing doing this in a class setting with your customers so again just some wonderful ideas let me show you you can visit remarkablycreated.com for some close-ups but there you can see the rose there's another one with the rose look at that isn't that beautiful there's another rose for you. And then two of the birthday ones. I just used the Hip Hip Hooray twice. Needed some great congratulations cards. So make sure you stop on over to Remarkably Created to see pictures of the cards. To check out my new blog, it's getting a makeover. Um, check it out. Also, if you would like to request a spring 2016 catalog. And stop by also for your chance to win some prizes as part of my blog makeover. RemarkablyCreated.com. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. God bless.